Look at my Star Trek toys! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Look at My Star Trek Toys, a little show where I show Mike Star Trek toys. And sometimes he shows me Star Trek toys, and sometimes we both have Star Trek toys and we show each other. Uh, that's kind of how the show works. Today, we are talking about another 2009 Playmates Star Trek movie action figure. We're going to go six inches today. Mike, how do you feel about six inches? Just enough. Sometimes too much. I feel, Keith, I want to tell you, <laughs> I want to tell you, I want to tell you two anecdotes. One. Wow. <laughs> We've been doing this for so long. If I, I know that if I just open my mouth wide enough, mm -hmm. you're going to notice that cue and leave a space yeah. for me to talk. I think that I that am. is really, really wonderful. And I think that our relationship has really blossomed into better than most marriages. Uh, no doubt. The, uh, the other anecdote I want to share, it's great to see you, buddy. I, I, we don't mention often how fun this is. It's a lot of fun. Uh, because we spend so much time scheduling and doing pre-production that when we're actually doing it, I want to take a, just a moment that, to, to remember I'm having a lot of fun. Also remembered that I was talking to my niece, who is, uh, I believe, 10, but it's hard to say because she's basically 40. Uh-huh, sure, so I sure. speak Tell to her like a full human being. If you don't have kids, the ages between 6 and 16 are basically all the same age. It's like child of indeterminate age. Yeah, I just, I talk to them based on the maturity level they bring to me, to the space. Mm -hmm. So yeah. anyway, we were determining... I talk to you that way, too. Yeah, we were determining how many jobs I have, because she said, I'm like, you have so many jobs. And I said, you're right. And we defined a job as something that pays you money. And okay. Uh, I so so this counts as a job, and we were we were enumerating them on. She goes, she goes. What is your favorite job? And I said, I think singing is my favorite job. And she goes, No. And I said, Oh, okay. What's my favorite job? And she says, You get to play with toys. And I said, <laughs> You're right. That's my favorite That's job. True. So Keith, let us on to our favorite job. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I I can't disagree with you. Her logic it's is sound. It's it is hard to argue with playing toys as an occupation not being the best. But you know, we play dress up and sing and 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 do also we do a lot of fun stuff. That's why we're poor. And that That's generally just, pays, I will say, more. Nothing. <laughs> yes. No, actually, no, I'm poor. Mike isn't because Mike has a real job. I don't really have any real jobs. It's awesome. All right. So today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing. Playmates 2009 six inch Scotty, oh. right here. Have we it's done going... a sixer before? We did. Yes, we did. We did check off as a sixer. Okay. Uh, but uh, but today we are going to be looking at Scotty. Keith, so is it we... fair to say that we haven't loved this line just yet? Well, I, I think we liked we Kirk we liked the six inch. The, oh, you're the, right. The six, the three three and three quarters, uh, left us a little. Although to be fair, my understanding is that the Kirk like design is sort of the, the the facial sculpt is the worst of them. Okay. So we'll see if it improves on some of the others. Uh but we've got a lot to play with right here. If we go to Toy Cam and take a look at Scotty from the Warp Collections. Uh, in case you want to be want to remember what the six inch Kirk that we have not opened yet looks like, it's right there on your screen. Keith, I'm gonna if it's if it's okay. Oh, sorry. If it's okay with you, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna come over n near you so that we leave this space open on the show. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, oh hey, hey, come hey. Out. Good to see. You. Okay, great, great. I, you know, you know how uh, I've learned to learn the cue of when you open your mouth to give you space to talk. Uh -huh. When I give you the cue that that we have the wrong graphic above us, oh, you changed. do not notice. It, it, it changed. <laughs> Forget it. You were right. It's worthless. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the box here. These are obviously larger boxes because they're six inches. Um, and we've discussed a lot of uh, this in more detail um, in the checkoff review. So you can go back and look at that if you want us to go further into it. But here are the warp collection. We have some choking hazards in there, which we will get to. On the back, we see the entire line that they put out as well as their three sort of play toys, the phase of the tricorder and the communicator. Um, and so you can see the big leap between the 3.75 and the six inch figure here. 
Uh, but uh, let's see. What do you see? You want to go in there and fight off some seatbelts? Oh, it's time. Do you have your sharp right. device? I do have a sharp device here to see if I can get into this, uh, into the box without cutting myself or the figures. You know, uh, kids, if you're going at home, always cut towards yourself with the razor blade. That's what I'm I, I'm doing here. So, Keith, I I made a determination today, uh, just for nerds on the podcast. While you're doing that, you know. Mm-hmm. I'd read so much, so much, so much, especially if you're in like a sort of a noisy environment, which I am in my little studio here, that a dynamic mic is just the way to go. Dynamic mic, dynamic mic, dynamic mic is what they say. And so I found myself a dynamic mic and I've been using it for the show and I'll probably go back to it. But for these unboxings, I whipped back out the condenser mic, which I know that you are a proponent of. Right. I use a condenser. Yeah. It just, you know, they're so sensitive. It causes a lot of noise and gain issues and whatnot. But end of the day, I'm listening back to myself and I realize... Uh, you just can't beat the condenser mic. There's just nothing better than a condenser. No, because it is it is the most accurate. Yeah. So that's what so, I'm So I just have to deal uh, with it. All right. Well, that's fine. Fine with me. All right. So let's start taking out our pieces. We have our base, uh, which for him is silver, which is listed on all the boxes weirdly as bonuses. But they're they're oh, yeah? standard with the figures. But it's it's all in marketing. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. All right. So we have our tiny little communicator, which I will lose almost immediately. Uh, but I can show you this in more detail if I figure out what depth is in focus here. There it is. It's funny how you lose focus when your other camera focuses. Oh, that's... Oh, you want to know why? Because I'm uh, ad- I'm I'm turning the wrong camera to manual focus. That would be why it's confusing. There we go. I'm, I'm running too many cameras all at once. But you can see here the little Starfleet insignia there and a little bit of paint. Um, it's really tiny, so it's it is really difficult to sort of get a sense of how small that is. So it, it's pretty good considering how small it is. All right. For, so, for the record, folks, I am mm-hmm. catching all of these jokes. I'm just choosing not to say them, uh, just so you know. Okay. Well, yeah. so, you know, we're trying to keep not have to lock this down. Oh, <laughs> yes. The uh, like you said, you want to meet people at their maturity level. <laughs> it's funny that I'm the one who said that. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, all right. So. I don't know why the belt needs a seat belt. Just like action belt needs a seat belt. But uh, Playmates was huge on unnecessary seat belts. So, you know, the plastic is a little stiff as that it is, uh, what, 15 years old now. But uh, we'll see here. Okay, interesting. All right, so I'm, I'm just looking at the figure closely for the first time myself here, which is... The seatbelts are absolute. We've discussed this many times on the show, but in the other episodes that we've aired thus far, by the time we get here, I've edited out most of the seatbelting. So, oh right here, I'm gonna remember to keep it in because it, it, it's important to recognize just how ridiculous this is. It's so much. We just like, opened. I don't know the order once again, but uh, in, in an episode upcoming or recently, we opened these three and seven, three point seven five inch. Reaction figures, the Super 7s. Super 7s, yeah. No, no seatbelts. They just did a good vacuum seal on the plastic. Why can't we vacuum seal, folks? It just seems like so much extra effort and expense and, like, person power. The only other time you see this much seatbelting is on, like, preschool toys, which I find to be very bizarre as well, because those are the type, those are the age kids where they'll choke on this stuff. Right, Yeah. I mean, the, did you see like, Keith? There's a new type of battery that is coated with a bitter taste, so that kids and animals don't eat them. Uh, I I did not. Maybe they should do that with action figures, and then we don't need the seatbelts. I, I don't think the seatbelts are there, so I don't put it in my mouth. <laughs> That's good. Uh, at the last second, oh I my made god, that I got the with... seatbelt off. I can finally put this well, in my we mouth. Maybe should make the seatbelts bitter. It won't make them easier to get off, I guess. Yeah, that's not my issue. My issue has nothing to... Like, my mouth is not involved with the problem with the seatbelts. He's also shrink-wrapped his arm in here to hold on to the phaser. 
it's so much work. No wonder this line didn't go anywhere. Like everybody is still opening them from two thousand nine. That review of the toy. Well, they spent twenty minutes getting the Saran wrap off his hand. So, like, why is he shrink wrapped? That's crazy. Like, what was the what was the thought? Be I mean, there was obviously a thought because it's expensive. Right? I think they're 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 they're, they're they tacitly want to hold admitting on to the that phaser. they're they're tacitly admitting that the hands don't hold the guns very well. That is a hundred percent what is happening. He does have pretty cool, pretty good articulation with the hand. That now I can't get him to not hold the gun. All right, here we what go. What do you we think the it. fail rate? In all honesty, by making that choice to saran wrap the hand, right? Yes, you're making an artistic choice because you want to have some storytelling with him holding the phaser. Cool, I get that. I'm all about storytelling. But what's the fail rate? How many people, in attempting to yank that off, pop the hand off? Oh, I'm sure a ton. Not zero percent. Especially, I'll tell you that. especially if you're a child, right, and you're impatient like me being a child all right so uh the actual figure what do you say we actually talk about the actual figure already from this distance i'm digging the the uniform is it textured it looks textured it is it is textured and it is also uh if you remember it's oh, yeah. rubber i like that so you can see scotty is like Ooh, eight pack damn scotty damn zero percent body fat i mean honestly eat a sandwich uh but there's there's re some really cool articulation here. He's got ankle articulation. I mean, probably that's a little dangerous. Knee as well. And then he's his uh, he does not have ball and socket hip joints. Um, this is more akin to the uh, the '90s figures, so they can sort of go forward and back. But you do have knee. There is a ton of articulation in the arms. So he does have a ball joint shoulder here. They seem very and a much ball elbow. in the universe of that 2022 Khan revamp. Wrath of Khan, mm -hmm. Kirk-esque. I'm looking over on the shelf. They have a, like the articulation, the joints, and even the rubbery sort of fringe it's, of the, the Well, yeah, it's true. It's the, the, um, the more contemporary. it's sort of halfway to what the 2022 figures would be. So like... Because the 2022s had our, had arm articulation like this, wrist articulation and all of that, but the legs are closer to the 90s versions. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a spinny head. And so in terms of the plastic, right, you can tell that the arms are hard plastic, but his uh, uniform here, this is all rubberized throughout here, um, which... You know, my first concern would be, how does that hold up over time? Well, it's 15 years old. Now, granted, it's been packaged, but you can see that there's a slightly different colors, some discoloration there between the arms and the uh, and the tunic there, which are now two different colors because one of them faded or the other one didn't or, you know, some combination thereof. Um, but uh, we do have our... Or, the, because the arms are the same, dude. The, the discoloration on both arms is the same. Right, because they're two different types of plastic. So they're aging uh, differently. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it could have been also that they're painted in the factory. The arms are painted separately than the torsos, and they have from a different batch. You know well, I mean? they probably are, too. Yeah, it's probably probably all of that. So I don't know if that's immediately identifiable as Simon Pegg there, uh, or at all. I mean, I was going to say you're being very, you're being very uh, uh, liberal I, with your yeah, identifiable I, I, marker. Yeah, the facial sculpts here are not. I would great. go as far as to say is that in no universe, if you Does put that look like gun Simon to my Pei? head and give me no other context as to what movie or whatnot, that I I could identify that as that actor. Well, and and just as a point of comparison, right? Because since I happen to have the Super Seven right here, even with eyes covered. That's LeVar Burton. Yeah. Well, I mean, the you, visor. Pull up the other one. I but, think it's, but, right. but even even without the visor, that is so clearly LeVar Burton. And then, oh, because yeah, it struggles with, it always struggles with the data because they're. The color. Of the, of the skin color. It, wash, it washes out. But like, now granted, these are sculpted where these are digitally sculpted. It's, it seems like. Um, but if we, all right, so let's, let's go to a galoob. I would say that looks, hold on, let me do this. I think this looks more like Patrick Stewart. Yeah. 
in 1988, then this looks like Simon Pegg. And Simon Pegg is not just like an average nondescript dude. He's got a he's got some identifiable features. So I feel like you would be Oh, for to... sure. The hair color doesn't even quite match. No. No, that's not Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's Did It's a box, little frustrating. Pull the box box back up. Do they have a picture of him on the box? Yeah. Let's remind me what the, he is on the box. No, I mean like of the of the actor. Of oh, the actor? No, there's no picture of the actor. I think <laughs> probably wisely. <laughs> Design choice. Design choice there. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we put him on a stand. Here, let's give him his his belt all the way around. Got his utility. Now, of course, all right, again, pulling one out, Keith. Ready for it? All right. Let's do it. From that, right? He doesn't have. Is is that is that from that movie, the two thousand nine? Coming. There uh, go. Yeah. So he's got red hair. All right. Now hold the figure up next on the camera. Let's just let's try again. Other way. Other side. Oh god! Here we go. We're, we're coming. We're coming. Hold yeah. on. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> don't, don't throw up. Look, I'm trying to. Okay. Hold. Here we are. Yeah, no. <laughs> Strike three. Uh, I would say maybe gained a point because it's uh, the shape is shapeish. <laughs> the shape is shapeish. <laughs> wow, this is the kind of analysis you come here for. Well, listen, we have been accused before of being shills, Keith, where we just like everything and. We attempt to like everything, I think, is fair, is a fair criticism. Yes. We try to find the like in everything, but sometimes... We absolutely do. It is it is more fun to like stuff than to dislike stuff, mm -hmm. and I think that is uh, that is definitely... The internet seems to disagree, but the that's, internet, what, that's, well, that's the, our corner we're trying to keep. You know the internet loves to hate stuff. So, let us... Let me grab this box. Oh, here. we gotta focus something. Oh, blue. Gonna be fine. It's fine. We don't need to focus anything. So, so go to my one shot, okay. and I'll do I'll do the spinner on this. We'll we'll play it. We're gonna play the other game of where I try to duck out of it while this thing. Spins. Oh, that's my favorite. It's my, absolutely my favorite. Thing. Great. His belt is falling off. <laughs> this is the saddest spin. Okay, now Keith ducks. So I can put the I can put the universe up. All right, hold on. <laughs> put the universe in. I'm running. <laughs> Run away, Keith. I'm Bring running it. over boxes. Move your chair. Move the chair. To get out of there. Yeah. Oh yeah. That oh, is wow. it. That's the <laughs> the, illusion is the illusion is sound. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's so good. Yeah, oh, nailed it. Wow. I mean, I can't believe we don't have more subscribers. <laughs> we can't quite hit two thousand. This might do it. <laughs> this will, you know, we've we've been trying to hit a thousand for a long time, but I think this is going to help us get there. This is it. This is the one. <laughs> this, right. this is going to get us to one thousand again. <laughs> oh, where I don't even know what. Oh, because that's in your shot. We've here. got space on space. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Woo. Oh man! There it fun. is. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, look. Do I love the figure? I, I can't say that I do. Um, is it really fun to uh, to unwrap and go through all these things? Yeah, you know it is. You, you know, know what, it Keith, is. Mike's going to mm. a hot take of the Simon Pegg, Scotty, uh, what was the name of this movie? Star Trek? Yeah, but what was the name of this movie? Star Trek. It's just called Star Trek? The poster is behind you. Oh, I thought I had like a subtitle <laughs> at least. No. No. Uh, I would have to say I'm beaming in a thumbs down. Uh, I, look, uh, yeah, the 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 figures aren't great. I think the, I think the the movie is actually considering I, I all it needed it. to be is is great. Did you? Yeah, yeah it was on uh, it was on one of the rerun show channels. I mean, I don't mean to uh, hold on. Let me just grab a name that I dropped it didn't on the inspire floor. me I was, to run out and get like an HD Blu-ray version to watch, but I, I watched I was it with just, commercials. I was just standing next to JJ JJ Abrams. He seems like a very nice person. So there you I go. was. Keith's humble brag there was, I was just standing next to, 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 you know, I peed next to Kevin Bacon once. I peed next to Rudy Giuliani, so. 
Who did? What are you who do looked about over? That? Who looked over? Kevin or Ru- Rudy? I oh, God, I can't even imagine what kind of a mess would be down there on Rudy at this point. So just, just hair dye dripping. Oh, He's like, God. the copper's got to match the drapes. We should get out of this episode. Please, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> we'll see you next week at the Four Seasons Home Repair Shop. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much, Ryan. Thank you to our patrons at patreon.com slash K and M. We'd like to apologize to our patrons at patreon.com slash K and M. And we'll see you back here next week with another episode of Look at My Star Trek Toys. Whoosh.